Hey Aries, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <clears throat> Alright Aries, let's start with you. Now what I'm getting here is that overall there is a lot of clarity that you're getting. Day after day after day. There is a lot of clarity that you're getting here, okay? You're coming up with someone here who wants happiness. Whatever is your priority is a happiness out here, okay? Happiness is your priority. Clarity is your ha uh, is your priority out here, okay? And there is some kind of enlightenment that you have finally achieved or you're, that you're finally getting. I feel for some reason out here, there is a situation here that you're dealing with which is becoming too overwhelming for you, okay? There's too much of burden out here. For some of you, you feel you're the only one who's taking all the responsibilities. You're taking all a lot when it comes to this connection while the other person doesn't do anything about it. For the others of you, the waiting period is becoming too overwhelming. Like, when will this person come towards me? When will there be communication? When will there be commitment? When will we take things to the next level? So I think for a lot of you, even though you want to take things to the next level out here, it's almost like you've given up. You're coming up with someone who's uh, literally turning your back to the situation. Like, I've waited enough. I've wasted enough time. And probably for a lot of you, you even stop manifesting this person. But now you're closing this door and you're choosing to move towards higher, uh, you're moving towards higher goals. You're moving towards something that is better for you. You're ready to explore your options. All right. And um, for some of you, you could be waiting for this person. For the others of you, I feel you're ready to explore your options. Okay. It's like, this is all that I can do. And there's not anything more that I can do about this connection. But yes, overall, I feel you guys are... Um, you know, you're, you're taking control of the situation and using all your strength and willpower, all right, to move ahead from this person out here. You're no longer wanting to stay indecisive, no longer wanting to give this person chances over chances over chances while they drain you out. You know, it's like that energy where there's that willingness and determination and discipline and courage to move forward from a connection that is not bringing you happiness. All right, let's clarify. Yeah, you're walking away from any kind of negative communication is what I'm getting, okay? This person out here has been someone here who's probably pushed you away or sabotaged the connection over and over again. And you're like, you know what? Why do you even have to sabotage it? If you want me, why won't you just tell me? And if you don't want me, why would you pull me in and then throw me out, you know? And that's becoming too overwhelming for you. It's becoming more of a stress. It's like an uphill battle. Every single time communication with this person, it's like you're fed up. I'm getting fed up. Okay, and you're just surrendering like, you know what, this is just not meant to be. You feel this con communication with this person becomes negative. This person plays too many mind games and you just feel it's just not worth it. Apply for the three of wands. Three of wands. This person almost always makes you feel like you're the one who does something wrong. Whereas that's not the point. Three of wands. Yeah. You're looking, you're cutting cords with this person. You would have loved if this person would have come towards you with something more serious and set things right, you were ready to wait. But now you're coming up as a point where I'm waiting too much and for what? You know, for some of you, you literally were overly optimistic that it'll work out, it'll work out, it'll work out. But now if you're coming up as a point where you're just letting your guards down, you know, uh, not letting your guards down, you're just uh, releasing the situation. For some of you, this could be a divorce. This could be a long distance relationship for a few of you, for a few of you. For others of you, if this is not a divorce, you're just choosing to make a very practical, very logical decision, okay? And you're cutting cords with this person. This time around, you're implementing it, okay? Because you feel that's fair. You're fed up of feeling left out in, this, in the relationship over and over again. Try for the chariot. Yep, you're ready to take a leap of faith, Okay. For a lot of you, you're giving this person the silent treatment. You're absolutely ready to take a leap of faith. You're absolutely ready to move on to a new journey. Okay, you're embarking on a new journey. And it's almost like I'm good with you, I'm good without you. But for a lot of you, you're like, you know what, if you're not coming in, that's fine. I'm moving out. Your person, I feel overall, this person here does have intentions of marrying you. But again, it's the intention. They do what matters with you. This person does love you very much. Okay. I'm feeling this person out here who is very attracted towards you more than anything. But their non-committal ways, for some of you, this person could already be married to someone else, which could be a problem. For the others of you, what is stopping them from committing towards you is tradition, family, 
there could be a lot of society pressure from this person or you know people telling them what to do okay and who they can marry who they can't marry something like that or they just feel something is too traditional for them okay take it how dressing is but this person out here is stuck in something what's the king of wands let's verify a lot of attraction towards you a lot of attraction you're dealing with someone here who likes to be a free bird okay king of wands yeah so uh you know what i think for a lot of you this person comes towards you because they want attention not in a bad way yes they do have feelings for you but in a way where they want to be single they want to be independent you know but somewhere somehow they feel there's something that's missing in their life so they have a lot of financial financial success they have a lot of financial independence but somewhere somehow they lack that emotional fulfillment yeah so it's like every time they feel lonely they want to come towards you okay they're very attracted to you like i said all right but they can't let you go this is one of the reasons why you probably are feeling drained out this is why this person comes in and out of your life when they miss emotional fulfillment when they lack emotional fulfillment when they lack feelings that lovey dovey feeling that they want romance they come towards you okay in a very passionate way but the moment you ask them for something uh, to commit to that's when they walk out because they're like no i still want to be single i do love you very much but i still want to be single yeah so even if this person here acts single and they're like i'm i'm good they're not they're not it's that sense of arrogance but i don't really need you okay i don't really need you i don't want you but deep down not only do they want you but they need you very bad they need you for their happiness the hierophant in reverse yeah this person out here feels commitment is a disaster all right they feel commitment is a disaster they feel that if they commit it is going to be a huge life shaking event okay for them it's going to be a big change and this person i feel for a lot of you they can never imagine themselves to commit to someone because for them it's like oh my god like seriously me and commitment that can never happen so they're trying to dodge a bullet they're trying to dodge this connection they're going to dodge dodge this commitment as much as they can but the truth is that they can't <clears throat> because they know that in order to have you in their life forever they got to make it correct they more they have got to make a foundation very very correct okay they got to come correct which they are trying to do they're trying to avoid the most okay they feel they're trying to come towards you by getting you by uh, you know um in a very passionate way but uh, deep down they know what the right thing is to do but they're not doing it what's the eight of swords what's the eight of swords here see there is something that this person keeps getting stuck on yeah so i feel for a lot of you this person out here has a lot of love for you okay they love you to the moon and back the problem here is that they feel stuck they feel there is this situation that cannot work out between you both it's like marriage commitment with aries no i think that's very impossible not because it's with you it's because they themselves are not keen on getting ma on getting married or keen on something traditional or not very keen on commitment for the others of you this person could already be in another relationship or another commitment out here where they feel it's impossible to get out of that connection which is why they keep talking themselves down they talk very negatively all right this person is constantly focusing on all the negative aspects of the relationship constantly focusing on what can't work out rather than focusing on what can work out okay so they're losing they're very pessimistic okay they're not being very optimistic about the connection here which is another problem out here now as the outcome out here i do feel that you are going to release yourself from this connection in what way in a mental way i feel a lot of you have been overthinking obsessing about this connection okay day and night that's all you think about is this person going to come back are we ever going to have something committed you know will this relationship move forward today tomorrow is it ever going to happen i feel for a lot of you you guys are no longer giving this person the space that they hold that they held in your head all this while you're getting out of your head here okay <clears throat> i feel there is going to be some kind of clarity okay you probably are going to get some kind of communication which is going to give you 100% clarity about what you need to do about this connection or there is going to be a there's going to be clarity from your side okay where you know what you want you know where this is headed and you just choose to make a decision however i do feel with the two of cups here there is a relationship headed your way okay there is no we're going to see if this is the new person or old person out here uh <clears throat> clap for the nine of swords in reverse clap for the nine of swords in reverse yeah you're choosing to free yourself from this connection i got that twice you're choosing to free yourself from this connection here okay all this while here you were probably not taking action but this time around here you're like i do what i think is right and i'm you're, you're being more of a doer this time around here 
you know no more being laid back no more waiting for things to fall in your lap it's more like you're choosing to uh, move towards freedom choosing to move towards uh, you know with that confidence in your mind okay you're literally taking action yeah uh what's the ace of swords what's the ace of swords yep I feel <clears throat> you have clarity about the connection out here where you once felt a very strong soulmate connection with, but somewhere, somehow here, this is someone here who's left a bad taste in your mouth. All right. I feel for a lot of you, you're, you're literally praying and hoping and wishing that this person does not come back because this is the past that you don't want to entertain or this is the kind of ex that you don't want back. And that's the kind of clarity that you already have uh, because things are just not moving forward with them. For some of you, like I said, traveling could be a problem. Distance could be a problem out here. But it's still that even if they come towards you, right, you are still in love with a person or still in connection with a person out here. You love them. They love you with someone who's emotionally unavailable. This is someone here who emotionally blackmails you or emotionally manipulates you. Believe me, you're dealing with someone here whose intuition is on point. You could be dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio doesn't have to be. But this could be the placements out here. But you're dealing with someone here who knows exactly how to get to you, how to want you. You know, so you could try and ignore them as much as you can out here, but they know exactly which is the right nerve that hits you, okay, which will make you respond to them or which will make you talk to them again. But the connection is very strong out here. The problem here is the person you're dealing with is unavailable emotionally. However, I feel justice is going to be done, all right? So you are getting what you want. You're going to get not got to what you want, sorry. You're going to get what you deserve. So there is going to be balance out here. There is going to be equality out here. And for some of you, you may just cut this person off because that is what the karmic justice is. This person gets what they, they deserve, okay? And maybe by you cutting them off is the right thing to do and is what the universe is going to do, okay? So you're getting this relationship even though they love you very, very much. But there are chances you just choose to be more logical and not think more emotionally, okay? So that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.